The objective within this lesson is to add a mixed number and a fraction. Here we have the problem 2 and 1 eighths plus 3 eighths. Let's go ahead and say this expression within unit form. This would be 2 ones with 1 eighth plus 3 eighths. How many ones are there in all? Right, two. How many eighths are there in all? Well, we have one eighth plus another three eighths. That would be four eighths. So we have then two ones along with four eighths. How would we write that as a mixed number? Well, two ones, which are the wholes, and then we write the fraction, four eighths. We'll notice that that is not in simplest form. So if we divide the numerator and denominator by two, we would end up with two and two fourths. We can divide by two again to get two and one half. What we could have done originally is just divide by four, in the numerator and in the denominator to be able to recognize that 2 and 4 eighths does equal 2 and 1 half. Remember to always express your answer within simplest form. Here is another problem where we have that mixed number 2 and 1 fifths plus 2 fifths. Let's show this addition using a number line. We'll go ahead and put the whole number 2 there because we're starting at 2 and 1 fifth. And then the next whole number is 3, and we'll go ahead and divide our number line into fifths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts. 2 and 1 fifth. We'll go ahead and mark that right onto our number line. And if we are adding, in this case, 2 fifths, that means we'll go ahead and travel 2 fifths to the right on our number line. And so we've got plus 2 fifths. Notice how the 1's stay the same. So we're still at 2 here. And then we simply added the fractional part together there. 1 fifth plus 2 fifths does equal 3 fifths. And then so we had 2 and 3 fifths right here on that number line. So again, it was 1 fifth plus 2 fifths is 3 fifths. And then the 2. So we have 2 and 3 fifths. Here we have another problem. Remember to add like units. In this case, we do have ones, and then we also have fourths. So with our ones, we still have three ones there. And then with our fourths, we have one fourth and three fourths, which would equal four fourths. What do we know about four fourths? Well, four-fourths actually equals one whole. And then so if we have three ones with four-fourths, which we also could have rewritten as three ones with four-fourths, then what we have then is four. If we had three again and we add four-fourths more, which equals one, so three and one does equal four. Three and one fourth plus three fourths does equal four. If we count it up, three fourths from three and one fourth, it would be three and two fourths, three and three fourths, three and four fourths, which also equals four. 
Here we have another problem, 2 and 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. Let's go ahead and add those like units first. We have fourths, where 3 fourths and 3 more fourths is 6 fourths. And then do not forget the two ones. You'll notice with the 6 fourths here that 6 fourths is bigger than 1. Let's go ahead and decompose that. And in decomposing it, we'll go ahead and decompose to be able to get a whole. How many fourths equal a whole? Right, four fourths. So six fourths is equal to four fourths and two fourths. Do not forget the two that we had with our mixed number. So we have two wholes plus four fourths plus two fourths. Four fourths again is equal to 1. So 2 and 1 equals 3. And so we have 3 and 2 fourths. So that 2 and 6 fourths equals 3 and 2 fourths. When we go ahead and simplify that, we get the mixed number 3 and 1 half. 2 and 3 fourths plus 3 fourths equals 3 and 1 half. We could see that on a number line as well, where it is we have 2 there, then we have 3, and we also have 4. Separate our number line into fourths. We'll mark 2 and 3 fourths to begin with, and in adding the fraction, Three fourths. We'll go one, two, and three to be able to get to three and one half. So that's how you can add a mixed number with a fraction. Here are two of them for you to try. For the second one here, please be sure to use a number line. Remember to add together like units. We have 3 eighths plus 4 eighths. That would equal 7 eighths. And then remember to have and to keep our whole number there because we had two ones. For 3 and a third plus 2 thirds, 1 third and 2 thirds more is 3 thirds. And then we'd have 3 holes there. So on our number line, we have 3, and then we also have 4. We'll go ahead and break it apart in 2 thirds. We'll go ahead and mark 3 and 1 third, and in adding 2 thirds, that means we go 1 and 2, that's plus 2 thirds. So we get to 4. 3 and 3 thirds does equal 4. Look over your work. Here's one more for you to do. Use decomposition to go ahead and express your answer as a mixed number. We'll start with like units, 5 sevenths and 4 sevenths, which equals 9 sevenths. 3 plus 2 equals 5. And then we have to express 5 and 9 sevenths properly. And then so it breaks apart into 5 plus 7 sevenths plus 2 sevenths. 7 sevenths is a whole, so 5 plus 1 more is 6, and it's 6 and 2 sevenths.